Okay, what we have here is a battery that isn't really wanting to hold a charge now. Now I put it on there and it showed 12.6 with the meter tester. Earlier today, and with the truck running, it was basically 14 and a half, which is what it should be. Okay, let me check it again now. Yeah, see, it's still showing 12 on the chart here. See if I can show you. See, 12.3 or whatever. Anyway. Now, it may have a bad cell. I don't know. I'm going to pop it open. Save the glasses. Acid is not something you want to play with. Now, batteries aren't real bad with acid stuff issues, but okay, it looks like all, all of them have acid in it. There's no dry holes. There we go. No dry holes, so that's good. But what I'm going to do is a trick I did when I was 17 years old, and that's pour the acid out first into something plastic. All right, here's what it looks like right now. See all the grime in the bottom. So I'm going to rinse this out. This is distilled water, not tap water. Where did my glasses go? Nothing's going to happen here, but it's always better to err on the side of safety. All I'm doing here, making a mess. Filling it up with regular old distilled water. And then I'm going to use that distilled water to rinse it. So they're all full. Now, for the fun part. And I want for how gray it is. That first one's real gray, and that end one's real gray too. I a little bit. I had a half gallon already before, and then this is almost a gallon, so you best, basically better to have two gallons worth. And I've got about half as much in it this time. So this will be the third time. Now, it's probably better to have gloves on than to do it the way I'm doing it. 
You're not so kind of black stuff come out again. <laughs> It's not going to be easy because I can't see it. A little extra because they're against the last one. Okay. I'm going back with distilled water. You don't want to use home water or any other kind of stuff like that because of the fact that corrosion and other chemicals, you don't know what's in there. Just put it that way. Distilled water, that's just what it is. It gets rid of everything. That's my charger here. That's a flow charger. It's just what you want on this. So I've already put that in there made sure they had good connection. Now, that's six amps. So we want 12 volt, two amp. There's 12 volt, six amp. We want two amp because we're wanting to slow charge it. So now, I'll let it charge all night long like that. Okay. There's the battery on our new day. Let's see if I can. Do this with one hand. Let's see what this thing does. Now make sure it don't drop down too much. If it starts to keep going down, you'll, you'll have to um, wonder about it. But let's see what it does. That's all right. Just call what you got. Okay. Got it back installed. Had the headlights on for about a minute. And the reason why the headlights is on is to put extra strain on it. Headlights take a lot more power than anything else other than the starter. Now we're going to try to start it. Right up, but that don't mean nothing. I mean, it's good that it did, but the battery just had a fresh charge, so it had plenty of power in it. Okay, it's been a little while now. Let's see if this thing's gonna crank with that battery recharge. 